Hello, dorks. Look at this. There's there's things here now. Oh, and I've I've summoned the beast. <laughs> I, except the opposite of summoned. She was here and she just left. So that's cool. Anyway, um, I've been I've been iterating. Hello. Check this out. I got a whole actual like just chatting thing here. Uh, and it looks OK, I think. I mean, it's pretty plain, but that's on purpose. I like I like minimal things. So hopefully this looks nice. Um, yeah, making making slight changes every single time. As you do. Um, but yeah, we're we're going to play to our fortress. Um, this part looks the same, but you know, I like this, so <laughs> it's going to continue to be this. Oh, and the main thing, the major news, I guess, is that I finally have a Discord set up. Um, and yes, it took all weekend and spending a lot of time uh, setting all that up, learning about Discord bots and roles and permissions and oh my god, so much, so much junk. But uh, at the at any rate, um, you should be able to type the little exclamation Discord and then my chat uh, Nightbot will be like, here's the link and you can join it and it's there and I think it works. <laughs> Tell me if it doesn't um, and then we'll fix things as we go. But it exists. Discord is there. Um, I guess if you're watching the VOD and want to join the Discord, I'll put... I guess, how do you do that? The best practice I was seeing was people were saying that you uh, don't have just like a permanent static link that never expires, which is why you have the bot do it. But uh, I don't know how I would just like put... I can just put it in the YouTube thing, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure out what people say to do about that, but... Uh, but yeah, um, did did Nightbot respond to you? Did that actually work? I don't know if I actually saw the response there. Uh, how do I even? I'm on my I'm on my dashboard manager. There we go. Come on, give me a link. Hmm. I don't know if is Nightbot paying attention. I'm I'm probably trying too many new things at the same time. <laughs> I mean the the command is here. Here I'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Just got it. Pretend I'm Nightbot. Let me know if that gives you any trouble. Um. But anyway, I have planned some things. I've done some off-stream dwarf fortressing. Um, I think I've done everything I said I was going to do. But the main the main deal, the, what we're looking at right now, is uh, temples, shrines and stuff, plus library and guild halls. And I tried to get a little creative with it. It's not just all cubes, um, which is, you know half the time that's good enough for me but I want to make things look a little nice so here's here's what I settled on after much fussing um but we have this is our existing little little walkway where we're most of the way down and our little fortress set up um here's our our bedrooms and our hospital and then more and then our tombs are right here there is a pets channel I think it's just called animals um but if you it should so it should have sent you a you should have got a PM from the bot for verifying that you're a human, and then once you do that, you can see all the channels. But there should be an animals channel. Um, yes, so just between the tombs and the bedrooms, basically. But we have... Uh, this is going to be the, the religious quarter, basically. This is going to be our big temple for no specific deity. And then all of these are going to be individual shrines to different, to different gods and religions and such. Um, and if we need to build out more, like a more specific church, I actually think we do have a petition for for a church, so they might end up getting like a separate space. Um, but we can we can dig these out, and then you can like move them around and upgrade 
stuff as we go. Um, so we'll we'll start with this. Um, but there's like, what is this like? One, two, three, four, five. So you have 20, 20 shrines. Should be plenty. Discord is fancy. Cool. Um, yeah, I hope hopefully it's fancy. I've, I kind of took inspiration from a couple different discords that I've seen. Um, Ugly Corner. That's my. We'll see if it actually gets used, but. Um, Ugly corner is a sp space to be ugly. I mean, yeah, um, it, it can it can it can serve a couple different purposes. It's I mean everything's all shiny and brand new, so you won't see a whole lot of uh, actual use in there quite yet. Hopefully, people start filtering in. But ugly corner is like I'm having an ugly day, and I want to have ugly thoughts, and I don't want to have people tell me how to not be ugly. I just want to be ugly and I want to <laughs> cry and I want to rage and everything sucks and I don't want people to try to make me feel better. That's what that's what the ugly corner is for um, or that's what the intention is. Um, but yeah, and there's also a suggestions for the server channel. So if you see something that should be different or should be added or should be removed or whatever, just tell me everything's a work in progress i'm a work in progress we're getting there just tell me and we'll we'll fix things anyway um the other half of this is our uh this is gonna be library you can see this is gonna be like where the stacks are and these are gonna be where tables and chairs go and and then down here is gonna be the little workshop for the for the library itself like um Place to bind books and make paper and all that kind of stuff. We'll just we'll tuck it down here, and then these are going to be individual guild halls that you get to from inside the the library. And also, I I planned out this library with like function in mind. Like this is going to be our, our little table area. These are going to be where the the bookcases go, and. I it kind of ended up looking like a Mario tree, like with the really long eyes, and I like that, so it's staying. <laughs> uh, I think it's a really good idea that people don't start with the ability to post photos without manual approval, but if you want cat photos, I need photo permission. Oh, see, there's so many different photos, so many different permissions. I thought I gave like verified people permission to do that, um, so I'll go back in and. Like there's there's like the default permissions for the role and then each room can have its own permissions and something got I don't I don't know I, I probably fiddled with it too much and and made it not ideal um, but the the ideal is you you should just do the captcha and then have permission to post things that that so that's that's not working as intended I'll, I'll fix that um, but yeah I, I just have to go in and give Give the role permission, I guess. Um, but yes, I want to see the Frank photos, and I will be posting the Jezebel photos, absolutely. Hello! I enjoy your streams. Well, thank you! Uh, thanks for, for joining live! Um, are you, uh, have you been, have you been lurking, or have you been watch, watching VODs, or... I'm curious. Um, and brand new, fresh, spanking new Discord, check that out. And I'll fix the permissions after the stream. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome. Um, and then, okay, the other thing that I've done, there's many things that have happened, but um, I've designated some things to be built in, in our surface area. I'm going to go ahead and unpause, even though we're going to get swooped on by owls, like, immediately. Um... But now that we have kind of an actual gatehouse here, I want to start setting up our ballistas. Our bal ballistae? Ballistae is singular. Ballistas. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to make a little enclosure here. We're going to build some walls, and then we're going to put. Uh, we're going to like. We're going to take out these two wall sections and replace them with fortifications. And then we'll end up with a ballista here and a ballista here. And they're going to both face this way. So that as, you know, goblins or whatever, trying to sneak in through the the little gatehouse here, we'll have ballistas that can shoot on them. And a trick that we're going to try here that I haven't done before, but I saw on the dis on the, the subreddit, um, is these little 
bridge things. These are these are mechanical choke points, basically. Um, ooh, that person was going fast. Hopefully that wasn't combat. Oh, someone's been found dead. Perfect. That didn't take long. I think that happened before. I think we knew about that one. Did you just steal his hat? Okay. <laughs> Watching Dwarf Fortress streams came across a YouTube vid about how complicated it is and was curious. Perfect, yeah. It's this complicated. Um, I mean, it's... It is what it is. I've been playing this for a while, so I know some of the intricacies, but I get surprised by something every single day. Oh, and he's in here defending. Perfect. Um, I think that's actually... Oh, that's part of his... Okay. Oh. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'll talk about that in just a second. But the choke points. Our our walkway here needs to be three tiles wide in order to accommodate a wagon, which we aren't getting, but whatever. But a ballista can only shoot in a single tile width. So if you wanted to cover three you know, three lines of of width for for a hallway like this, you'd have to use three ballistas. And you'd have to do... Um, and you have to, like, stagger them, because the ballista is, like, a three-by-three, three, so you can't just put them right next to each other. You'll have... You, like, you wouldn't be able to get the middle two, right? So you have to, like, make... It takes up a bunch of space, is the, is the long shot. Um, Uh-oh. Here's here's an agitated giant bird. Cool, that didn't take long. Um, Marksdorf. Oh, are you fighting? Do you have bolts? You don't have bolts. Curse you. <laughs> You're even in the fortifications. Who else is fighting? I uh, found you to be interesting and calming streamer, so stayed watching. Cool. Calming uh, is is the intent. And interesting, I guess. Interesting's good. But yeah, I want this to be... I want this to be like an okay place where no one has, needs to be super amped up and, and weird. Uh, we have two Mark Storves. I mean, you can be weird. I'm weird, but... Is this is this also a Mark Storf? No. Where's this other Mark Storf? best vibes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Doing my best. Militia commander. Where are you? Where? I'm confused. Okay. Well, at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and take our melee squad and give them a kill order on the bird. And just wish that our Mark's Dwarves... Oh, you just took care of it. Did you just punch it to death? Okay, who actually got the kill there? Was it the Lie Maker? <laughs> the Lie ma Maker latches on firmly. This Lie Maker just tore a giant bird's head off with her teeth. <laughs> so, neat. It, and then this is the Marksdorf. Is this something else? Okay. Well, either way, it's dead, so that's that's good. Anyway, ooh, steel gauntlets, steel high boots. Oh, excellent! And everyone was interrupted by a bird. Cool. Cool. That's all good. Um. Anyway, long story short, instead of having to cover three lines worth of... Oh, here it is. Oh my god. Child, child, caretaker. Do these actually have cages? These actually have cages. Ugh. Ugh.
instead of having three ballistas, we're gonna use gate uh, bridges to flip up and restrict movement into just the middle one, and then we'll just have to cover the middle one. There, I got it out before no pe more people died. <laughs> Sekiro looks different? I mean, we're still getting messed up by owls, that's for sure. Uh... I really wish our dudes would pick up their bolts. I don't know why that's... They, they were doing okay for a second and then they weren't. Uh, but one thing that I did off stream, I went into our Mark's Dwarves schedule. Did he just get hauled off? Maybe he was injured. Um, but here, yeah, so... I probably need to make more adjustments to this. How is this? Yeah, okay. So right now, at, at this moment, and this will probably change, but uh, the Mark's Dwarf Squad is being given recurring orders to defend the gatehouse. So that's what our, our Hammer Dwarf? Oh, you are a Hammer Dwarf because that's what you're best at, but you are in the, the ranged squad, so whatever. And you have bolts! Thank goodness, that's what you're here for. So that's the idea. This, this, there's just gonna be a guard in the guardhouse with ammo, and they're gonna make sure nothing tries to sneak in. If there's like a wolf that wants to try and get in here, then in theory there's a guard here with a crossbow that can just kind of go pop pop, and, and maybe the, the wolf will be scared and run off. That's the hope. Fewer things making it in because there's someone here or here. There's even two people. Look, you both have ammo. Nope, just one of you. <laughs> Maybe they'll figure it out. You're attending a meeting, but you're seriously injured. Someone to grab you? No. Uh, but yeah, that's the intention. Jeez. We'll, we'll see if it works. We'll see how effective this is. Uh, but the idea is that there's someone here keeping an eye on the entrance to our fortress. And we'll know if someone tries to get in. And then you know, all these... Now I got more dead birds and more dead citizens. And more birds in cages that we are going to have a hard time killing because they don't fall as well. Oh, and we had... Pretty sure we had these merchants show up just right at the end of the last street. So we should trade. And I don't think I have... I think we're still having a hard time getting our... Um, my trade goods stockpile to work. I think everyone just needs to get stuff out of the crafting. <laughs> it's all just here. And are we needing that many jugs? We're making a lot of jugs, aren't we? I'll assume that's fine for now. Um, but all of our all of our trade goods aren't easily reached still. Which is cool. So I'm gonna try to find our mechanisms. I liked I liked that thought. I wanna trade Oh a mat there's a masterwork. I wanna trade all the not amazing mechanisms away so that our mechanics can get practice making more. And we will use the good ones for weapon traps. So anything less than exceptional. Which is the three lines. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna trade them all away. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's another masterwork. Perfect. We want more of those. Okay. And then... Prepared meals. Do we have any nice big stacks? Giant stoat. Meat roast. Stoat roast. Stoat 
grain roast. Neat. Uh, seeing if any of them are worth a whole bunch. We had a real, like a real uh, high value stack last time. Here's eleven hundred for turkey hen egg roast. Let's just yeah, just toss it in the pile. We'll see if they're interested in that. I don't know what all we're we're gonna trade for. Maybe they brought some wood. Spin thread. Too injured. We're still being interrupted by giant birds. Is there where? Where bird? Not where bird, because that's also a thing that can happen. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we have a. We got a friend in one of our caves. I don't see... Oh yeah, okay, so we have three... We have three more birds. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll keep an eye on that. I mean, I could tell people to come inside. For now. What are you doing? No job. Here, let's just activate civilian alert. And that will tell everyone who's not in a squad to go inside. These people have orders to stay here, so they will stay here. Oh, did that? Oh, is that what's going on? That's what's going on. I need to lock that. <laughs> Forgot to lock the door. Maybe I'll wait until that one flies out, maybe? Here, I can lock this. That's why I put those there. Plus, there's cages here now, so actually, we may be fine. Or if you just want to leave, you're allowed to leave. <laughs> no, now it's in the now it's in the fortifications. <laughs> okay, let's lock the way down. Oop. Did you go out? You got out. Okay, so let's let's lock this. I meant to do that before. I mean, I do still want to build, like, a little bit of roof here just to make it symmetrical, I guess. But uh, this is closed off currently. So we'll, we'll keep the, the roof hatch closed. Um, this is passable. This is passable. Oh, and I also, it, while, while looking at things off stream and, and fiddling with things, I figured out why this was being silly. I couldn't figure out why people couldn't go through the hatch, and I was trying to figure out if it was because it was frozen or whatnot. I just had it forbidden. It was just locked. So I unlocked it. So it's gonna work now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was just... I just... I locked it and forgot about it. Oh, and also our waterfall's going. Look at all this! Look at all these waterfall bits! Are you just... you're just standing there? Delighted being near a waterfall. Perfect. Just just chilling in the mist. Excellent. Um, I guess oh, there's just a random mechanism just on the ground there. That's neat. Um, I have these farms slated for removal. I'm gonna make some some adjustments in here. Look at all these donkeys. We got a lot of donkeys. Our uh, auto, auto butcher will probably take care of some of those. Making doors. Merchants will be leaving soon. Gonna take us a minute. Broker cannot access depot. Oh, because it's not in our burrow. I need need the the trade depot to be part of the safety burrow. So now now he's coming. In theory, people will come and <laughs> grab all the mechanisms. Yeah, they just they just dropped them there. Cool, thanks. Uh, 
stainless steel production is going on. Everyone's still getting interrupted and stuff. That's how you make your dorks happy. Yeah, I'm hoping like let's we'll keep an eye on the 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 happiness gauge up here. But I'm hoping that our brand new waterfall sis system situation will start to lift the mood a bit. Between that and like getting a church going, I think that will help a bit. Um, and we have a fey mood. You just drop one of the <laughs> mechanisms to go do it. That's cool. You're taking a craft dwarf. And you're you're working on it. Okay, I guess continue. No broker. Oh no, the merchant left. Oh, I just missed him. How did that happen? I thought we. Well, I thought no time had passed, or very little time had passed. Oh well. Stray alpaca has been slaughtered. Okay. Did we have that many alpacas? I didn't think we had that many. There's... Male. Male. I guess if we only have like three adult males, that would cause one to be slaughtered. We only have male alpacas. That's cool. We have breeding pairs of llamas at least. Oh! The human is fighting the key. Oh, did you... Who's... Oh, someone's bronze bolts. Uh, yeah. Where's... Where's the human that is supposedly fighting? Oh, they're just they're running around in my courtyard. There's one. Are you a traitor? Er, your name is Er. Okay, well, if you want to take out the, the keys, that'd be great. Or die to them and leave all your stuff on the ground. That seems to be the tradition around here. Somebody is fighting. Running low on jet, running low on copper. It's all good. Okay. Um, there's still just a bunch of... <laughs> now all the mechanisms are here. Of course they are, and I got to bring them all back. Whatever. Um, so the, the the flip side of having designated a whole bunch of stuff off stream is that now I don't want to give them a bunch more stuff to do right now. So I'm going to kind of let them go. One of you has done things correctly and the other has not. Two, two soldiers standing in the gatehouse. Like, wow, all these copper bolts are so heavy. The other one's like, bolts? What do you mean? Oh, Drothas. We got Drothas in the cave. Drothas are interesting because they're one of the few tameable. Right? What was unique about them? They're like tameable or or domesticatable or something. But you can you can You can breed. You can breed Drothas if you wanted to. Uh, meat is happening. Everyone's gonna complain about not having jet, which is true. You get provisions from where? You didn't want to go to the kitchen to do that. Oh, it's gonna be like a fish that's on the ground here. Hey, look, some migrants. Yeah, okay. He was looting that, um, the fallen merchant <laughs> for, for food. Look at this. Okay, so we got 
Uh, up to 47? We were at 41 just a second ago. So that's another six people. And we have a black cap amulet. Neat. I don't have any place to put artifacts yet. The muddled ship. Black cap amulet. Black cap is a kind of tree, I believe. Like one of the mushroom trees. Uh, encrusted with oval jet cabochons, decorated with black cap, encircled with bands of high wood. You used a lot of wood, didn't you? Adorned with hanging rings of sheep wool and jet. An image of flies in pine. Cool. Um, an image of Twisted Merge, the Great Horned Owl Man, and Kib Wheelwind, the Dwarf, in Rose Quartz. Kib is striking down the Twisted Merged. Artwork relates to the killing of the Great Horned Owl Man, Twisted Merge, by the Dwarf Kib, with a copper pick uh, a couple years ago. Jeez, there's a bunch of stuff on here. An image of Aesop the Dwarf in iron. You used iron and wood. Oh, jeez. Um, an image of the Strange Slaughter, the Orthoclase Ring. So it's an image of a different artifact on this artifact, of course. They don't... Oh, because we ran out of jet? Yeah, okay. I was trying to build some more clothier shops here, but I think they ran out of jet to do so. So, uh, let's just do something different. Hello, it's you! Hi! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll, we'll select a material and... Here, why not? Just mudstone. That's fine. Workshop stone. Um, flooded any levels yet? No. Look! I, the opposite, we have intentional waterfalls that are safe. Look, this took like four streams to, I mean, I've been working on this since the beginning. I knew I wanted to do this, but we have our little spiral walkway and we have water falling from above and it's just kind of misting out into the hallway. And now whenever someone walks through this mist, which exists on every level, like this is the central spiral of the entire fortress, and every level is just misting constantly. Every time you walk through the mist, you get just a little bit happier. Like, look at this. Intent being near a waterfall. What about you? No happy thoughts yet, but... Oh, you're just going there. Okay. I want to watch someone, like, walk up the stairs and get a happy thought. Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah, content being near a waterfall. Look, this person is just going to destroy a building. They're going, uh... Oh yeah, they're unassembling some some traps. But just getting a happy thought on the way. They don't even have to, like, chill in a dedicated space for happiness making. They're just getting happy going upstairs and going downstairs. Oh, now we're... How did a owl... There's an owl here? What? How did... How did an owl get in all the way down here? Is everyone okay? How the... F that is concerningly deep into our fortress for a critter to just be existing. And you're naked. Oh, but you're a baby. That makes sense. Uh, how? Don't we have... I guess we're... <laughs> we're nearly full on our... On our traps here. Ugh. Is there, does that mean there's a bunch of owl people on the surface now? The trick is keeping everyone alive long enough for them to become happy. Okay, the surface is safe. For the moment, everyone go clean things up. 
And if combat is continuing, we will see that. We have guards automatically posting in our gatehouse. And sometimes they even have ammo. This one doesn't. This one does. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, woodcutter and Dwarven Child. Who is fighting the child? Why is fighting the child? Woodcutter strikes the owl. Okay, this, that's just left over from, from the owl, I think. Oh yeah, and so we were out of jet from making blocks, but I found another place to quarry out. Oh, you jumped. Oh, and I, I turned off the thing that automatically uh, makes the stars. So here, have some stars. Jump for the stars. Um, and I'm, I set all of this to like a moderate uh, does like urgency, I guess. Where did? Yeah. So this is all at four. So it'll take him a bit to to actually start mining all this out. But that's fine. Um, I think I made some other things higher priority, maybe. But I found... Where did I find jet? It was down here. Yeah, there's jet down here. So maybe I'll, I'll crank this up to one. So we can keep jet going, because that'll be good for our fortifications on the surface, which are good for... defenses, being safe, not dying all the time. Interrupted by giant owl I'm on the surface now. Kind of wonder. I could cut a, I could set up a patrol. Like I th so this is inside, and I want them to be up here too. Because they're they you know kind of look over this whole section, and then if there's you know birds in the courtyard, they'd be able to shoot out this way. In theory. But they're just chilling down here. And yeah, the gatehouse is, is in here and here. So I kind of wish that they would, like, move within the space, but um, I think to do that we'd have to set up an actual patrol route. We could do, like, a patrol route that just went, like, you know, from here to here, and then went up, and then, you know, went up and then down, and then returned. So then they're at least just kind of walking around. And then we would assign them to patrol that route instead of defend the burrow. Did you? I, I wasn't even watching. Did you catch the stars? There's um, there's there's still so much more stuff in stream avatars to mess with too. I could have um, like you can have it keep track of who wins the little games. There's a couple other little games you can set up too, uh, but the stars is the simplest. But you can have it, like, keep track of who's winning. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Struck blue jade. Ooh. Needs unwritten fermentable plants. That'll happen eventually. Giant Great Horned Owl. I'm just dropping the block. That's cool. I'm like, where? Where? Great Horned Owl. So it's just the one so far. But I want to see our guards chase it off. I want to see some bolts hit this owl without me telling them to do anything.
So it's getting close. See, I feel like if they were on the top level, they'd be able to shoot at it from there. Maybe we'll maybe we'll look into setting up a, a patrol route for them this stream. It's one of the more intricate things, might be worth demonstrating to people. Plus I don't do it very often. Well, it hasn't attacked anyone yet. It's probably just interrupting a whole bunch of jobs. Yeah. Maybe they'll get used to it. Maybe maybe exposure therapy is a thing. I'm just there's owls in the sky, dudes. It's how the sky works. I know you don't really like the outside, but there's stuff up there sometimes. Still haven't managed to. To hit it, I don't think. I think we'd see a uh, construct uh, a combat log. Well, jet blocks is happening. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just gonna get constantly interrupted. Ugh. Fine. Um. But our, our bridges are being made. I think that one's for gonna get removed. Um, this cage. Well, the cage trap has been removed. There's just still a caged owl here. Someone needs to grab it. Mill plants has been completed. Um, have these been cleared? Yeah, there's some cages in here. Okay, good. I always get a little nervous when all the cage traps are depleted. Um, look, we got we got training going. Lead dodging demonstration. There's a cat. Our uh, our captain Sass Scratcher is gonna participate in the dodging training. So that's always nice. I'm two very happy people. That's what I like to see. Like, look, I'm look, I'm keeping an eye on the water level. The thing that we did most recently with the the waterfall situation is that we automated the topping off of of the water. Yeah, look at all that mist. That is so good. Be merry. Euphoric, due to inebriation, content being near a waterfall. Relieved, being near a waterfall. And those will start, like, accumulating over time. Um, each person has, like, a... There's, like, recent memories and, like, long-term memories is basically how it works. And then... Over time, things that are in your recent memories, like some subset of your recent memories get turned into long-term memories, and then they can gain new thoughts, good or bad, reminiscing on their long-term memories. So you'll, uh, you'll end up with like a person remembers that time they were by a waterfall and get happy about it again. Uh, my boss wants a meeting at 8 a.m., so I probably need to go to bed. Oh, dang. That's fine. Um, we're just going to be fighting owls all day, apparently. Oh, but the Mark's Dwarf is fighting. That's a good sign. You are cleaning. There's <laughs> there's just random bolts in here. Uh, did you hit it? Militia Commander bashes. Okay. Bashes. The flying copper bolt strikes the agitated great horned owl in the upper leg. Perfect. Great horned owl falls over. Did it die? Where is it? Where'd it go? You knocked it out of the air. That's a good start. Tired. Been, okay, so it's been hit. 
Ability to stand lost, overcome by terror. Yeah. Finish it off! Yeah, let's let's set up a patrol so that they're up in this top part, because I think I think they'd get a shot on it more more frequently. That bottom part is gonna be good for for land-based things, but that top tower is gonna be better for anything flying in the air. Which is like two-thirds of the things that cause problems here. It's just gonna keep canceling everything, even though it's just limping through the air, however that works. It's also just kind of, it's automatically forbidding the bolts as they're used. Which is okay in some situations, but we can go into standing orders. And we can go to refuse and dumping. Maybe. It's probably this. Forbid used ammunition. So let's change that to forbid used animation dirt ammunition during sieges or you can just claim it all i think this makes sense though because this way because like what you don't want is a whole bunch of goblins running around on the map and your military shooting at them or even the goblins shooting at you can even happen and then the the bolts end up on the ground and now there's a dwarf somewhere in the dining hall that goes oh there's something upstairs that needs to be brought down here, and they'll go up onto the battlefield to grab the bolt. And now you have a dead dwarf. That's not always so great. Um, but, like, I do kind of want them to be automatically claimed as ours in other situations. So, so I think that'll work out fine. Just, they can be automatically forbidden when... Uh, when there's a siege? And then we'll we'll reclaim them otherwise. There's also like, they end up inside the fortifications. Fortifications are just kind of a weird thing in general. Because uh, it's like a permeable wall. So junk just kinda ends up in there. Like there's someone's tooth just in the fortification. I don't know how easily they can get in and like actually extract things. I don't know if that's just kind of stuck in there. And we're getting some trees along the outside, but none of them are close enough to overhang. Yeah. Cool. And like up here. We got full-on bronze war hammers just lying around. There's a lot of trash to clean up. Um, okay, so now that these are done, I'm going to move these three. I think is how it's going to work. I'm also considering... Do we build a floor in here for us to put the ballistas on, or do we just build it straight on the brook? I think you can. Interrupted by giant great horn owl. Where where is it now? Still up here. Fired, heavily bleeding, seriously injured. You can leave. No one's keeping you here. Oh! Did someone just get it? Power bolt has launched firmly in the wound! Yes! Yes! From here, even! Wow! Kills. Stoked. How about you? <laughs> Kills. A giant horned owl man and a dingo man. Ah, oh, Paying dividends already! Our, our automatically stationed Marksdorf just shot a giant owl out of the sky. I didn't even have to tell him to do it. That's cool. That's what we want. So long as they can like actually keep bolts equipped and we can keep them supplied with bolts and, you know, alive and stuff, 
Um, I think that's going to be very helpful here. Where did it end up? Did it, it just fell out of the sky, right? There, there, yeah. It's even got the bolt still in it. Incredible. Cool. Okay, and then we, we disassembled that. Um, there was a gate here, and I wanted to disassemble it so that I could go all the way across with our, our little choke point situation. So we'll designate that. And these go this way. Right. And then, oh, we got 60 jet blocks. Fantastic. And then, we're going to do how do we do this? I'm going like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we can trap people in here. I just kind of go up like that, and then we'll put a bunch of weapon traps in here. Oh, thanks. We're saving. Um, and that'll probably help with anything that gets through all the all the ballistas and the the mark stores and whatnot. Um, but the the other stuff is our main. Oh. Our main defensive structure. Okay. Ooh. Always scary. <laughs> it's always like slightly scary when you're trying to save uh off stream. Did this Did anyone see that? I just designated this bridge just now. They did it that quickly. I guess because all the stuff was sitting here. And this one's done too. Wow. Oh, and now we need to put a roof here. Because now, now this is a way into the fortress. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Let's do... Uh, fortifications here. Out of jet. And surely there's another one. There we go. And then this too. Uh, but since that's just a, a cage sitting there, not a construction, I can designate something there. And then here... How are we doing on... Um, do I actually have... I don't even have a way to get there. Uh, we, can, we can do this though. Let's remove... Let's remove this one. That's eventually going to become a door onto our parapet anyway, most likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we need to link a whole bunch of, of levers, which we can use some of our not great... Uh, we're already frozen again. Okay, so... Gonna check our water levels. The main concern with our waterfall situation is that it remains supplied with water through the frozen season. Hey, look, we're digging our library. Um, so everything looks fine right now. We've got another layer down here. This isn't like full full, but there's a lot of water in in the channels, and I think as long as it's not getting down to like depth one and evaporating, I think we're fine. I don't know that the mist itself actually consumes any water. I don't. I guess I don't know that for sure. But I think we're okay. We're just we'll just keep an eye on it. Um, are we? We still have an owl. More owls. Yes. More owls. Another owl. Okay. Tired. Okay. 
Well then, let's... How do I make a patrol route? That's the question. What minecarts? We haven't even messed with minecarts yet. If I go assign patrol order, oh, here we go, create new route. Well, this is going to be eight house patrol. Confirm. Click the map to add points. Okay, so I want to go here and here. Well, that's cool. And then I guess here. What was that? Okay. Um, then we'll go up here. Go down here. Oh, and then it wants to uh, return. Okay. Then can I just do the same point again? Not really. I can do the same square again, but it's, it makes a new point. Okay. There we go. We're going... From here to here, and then up, and then up, and then down, and back, and then down, and then across. And I'll just do that loop. Confirm. Uh, and I will clear... Well, I guess I want to see you do it. So let's see if... Let's see if they manage to actually do that. And then I'll integrate that into an automated, not automated, but a or just regular monthly schedule. And everyone's running around like there's something awful. I swear, there it is. You all run around like this for a freaking owl. You're not going to have any energy left for when the really scary flying things show up. I want to see him get shot out of the air. Watching them running around in a panic down there. This one's not even agitated. This is just an owl. It's big. I'll grant you that. Did I... I did this one wrong. This one's supposed to be just a wall. Oops. That. But okay, so now now that's that's being done. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put a door here so that I can lock it when I need to. Because that will happen. Uh, then I just need to do a floor. Like this. And we're gonna use a rock salt blocks, which we have a whole bunch of now. Perfect. And that will make a nice roof for the ballista junk. Yeah, perfect. Well, and then we'll let them finish that. Okay. Look how fast everything's going. We have, we got a, almost a full fortress and we're still sitting pretty at just under 50 frames per second. Which I'm very happy about. This got made. All of our bridges are getting made, partially constructed. I guess I'll wait until they're all made and then we'll hook them all up to uh, the same lever, basically. Of course, they're all using this route to get out here now because it's the shortest, but that'll change in a second. Cool. 
Still don't see anyone patrolling. Oh, look at you. Are you grabbing ammo? You're, you're patrolling. That's not the route that I told you to patrol. <laughs> and you just ran by a, an owl because you don't have ammo. Then... And then what? You gotta go all the way around to get back inside. <laughs> right? I mean, okay, so the, he's... She. And are you... Now what? You, you're still... Patrolling. I mean, that's your order, but that's not what you're doing. Where the heck are you going? It was raining on me. It's annoying. And then, like, you're gonna come out here? Hmm. Hmm. That's not quite intended, is it? They're not going to the specific points that I designated. They're going to, like, the area. I told them to go here, and they're like, oh, so here? So that's not quite... Hmm. Hmm. See here. Now you just have no activity. Do you have ammo? Nope. Sure don't. Mark's dwarf. Is that the same one, or is that a different one? Well, either way. Okay, cool. So, look how fast they're going. Very happy with, with the progress we're making here. I might go ahead and... Like, once, once they're done with this little bit here, I think the next project is is actually setting up a walkway around you're in the tree oh you're stuck in the tree aren't you of course it's a bayberry tree someone ran off with your stepladder that's what happened wasn't it uh let's do Make make a make a wooden stairwell. Maybe someone can <laughs> get that person out of the tree. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll put some fortifications up here, and then we'll put a walkway all the way around the the outside, and we'll try to set up a patrol for for people to do that. You no activity. You you know, okay. I guess. Outpost liaison. Okay, so these are dwarf traders. Our door is closed, but they probably don't have a caravan. I guess it would have told me if they did. Just literally one left. And then you... Why are you naked? Just a naked militia dwarf. What is wrong with you all? All these... Still a bunch of stuff just on the ground. Though much less than there used to be. The <laughs> necromancer corpse is still there. So here come the traders. Liaison. 
Merit deserves reward. Oh, do we want to be an official land of the realm? Can you imagine the trade wagons? Yeah, okay, so now we're going to get trade wagons. Of course, there are responsibilities and the nobility must live well. Do you have anyone suitable to recommend for elevation? Do we do this? Do we become... We're not going to become the capital. You need to have, um, I think it's 140 population to be eligible for the mountain home, to be eligible for the capital. So we will not be stealing capital status from our previous fortress, um, which is good because I don't want to. But we can become like just a barony. Um, or a county? I forget which one's first. A barony. It's right there. I don't know who to who to who to choose though. It is really funny to just like comparing to like Crusader Kings. Shouldn't shouldn't someone have like a family tie? Some have like a land claim or something? This is just plain duck duck goose to see who gets to own the castle. We could do our armor. We have a legendary armor. He's gonna get all, uh, needy, though. How about... Just a random farmer? I... yeah, I don't know. How about the cook? Okay. I don't care. Uh, I do still want logs. Please bring logs. That's kind of all that I care about at the moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, broker requested. And let's <laughs> get our mechanisms there again. Oh my goodness. Not that one, not those. The rock salt ones are pretty good. These are nothing. Not even nice mechanisms. There and there. Okay. And then we'll look at our prepared meals again. Something nice. Something. Pick out something nice for the dwarves. Giant great horned owl sweetbread roast. Um, we'll do the turkey hen egg roast stack again, just in case they need a bunch of stuff. And we're still waiting for people to take care of the... Oh no, it's attacking the one in the tree. Well, now it's not in the tree anymore. That's good. Um, well, you have a an axe and there comes a soldier, so that... Is it dead? Yes. Herbalist hacks the agitated giant horned owl in the head with copper battle axe. Good. Good, good, good. Or no, it's still it's still alive. How it's unconscious. Now it's dead. <laughs> okay, so we can get rid of this stupid stare. And now there's another? Yeah, there's the corpse. Did you you just drop the axe? Keep all. Confirm. You punching? You don't have nothing. You're punching the owl. All three of you are just punching the owl. 
There's a soldier around here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Um, that's complete. I'm going to go ahead and lock this door for the moment so nothing sneaks in. What's this? Uh, oh, there's some trap components here. Probably from one of our dead traders. Um, one thing we can do is we can just go ahead and make the siege traps themselves. Which we would do... A military. Yeah, ballista. So, we'll just we'll go there. Yeah, cool. And one right here. Perfect. And then, I think... I'll just make a little a little stockpile for bolts. But we'll say that it cannot take bins. I think is how we're gonna do this. Uh, furniture slash seat ammo. Let's do Or I remember. It's just straight up siege ammo. And all types are fine. And then we'll do no, and then we'll do just siege ammo. And without bins, in theory that means we will be able to place like exactly nine ballista bolts here. And then I did something similar with the other ballista down at the cave entrance. So in theory, in theory, there'll just be a handful here, and then the rest can live in like a, a stockpile by the, the shops. Giant owl, farmer, now where? Another, <laughs> another dead one. Jeez. How is, and what are these, just stoat cartilage? People need to clean up our garbage. Okay, trade. Nope, they're still working. Okay, there we go. We got all of our mechanisms plus the roast. Okay, and they brought a whole bunch of wood. Look at this. Oh, thank you, dwarves. It's 430 for all that. Great. And then I can just trade. Yeah, look. So we're, that's just 1,700 worth of moderately okay mechanisms. So then the rest they have is just instruments. Wow. We bought so many instruments last time. I don't know that that's what I need. Oh, buckets are good. Can I just... That's too many buckets. Oh, just random decorated buckets in here. I will spend 20. I will not spend a thousand on a bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Just trade. Perfect. We don't even have to trade away our food. Done. Thank you. Now we'll have a whole bunch of wood and not have to chop down the trees. We got we already have a whole bunch of wood. Perfect. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. What is this? This is bars. This is specifically rock. Yeah. Uh, rock blocks. Because of... They're coming from here. So let's do... No. Thank you for warning me. Let's do like this. Uh, nope. Like this. Now we have a place to put the wood. There's all our leather. A bunch of our leather. Oh, and that's right. We ran through all of our plant cloth. 
that's a thing we have to deal with. Look, it's even here already. It's ridiculous. Okay. Like these soldiers wandering around with just their helmets. <laughs> It'd be cool if they could figure out how to keep their uniforms on. Because I am telling them to keep their uniforms on. Okay, let's check down here. Now we're... <laughs> they dug a little bit. Not very much. And then we have down here. Here's where all of our jets going to come from. Let's say like low priority digging down here. This, that's jet, that's jet, that's jet. Yeah, look at all this. We'll be, we'll be fine on jet. The raven and the carpenter. That's just a, a normal agitated raven. Okay. Okay. So. Things. Let's connect some levers. These are, like, none of these are connected. That one is. Like, literally nothing else. Okay. So, down here, we have, I'm going to want some more Great Depot Caravan exit. I guess we can, let's link this. Mm. Stack power. Once more levers, aren't we? Uh, machines, levers. And these are all gonna be our, our good ones now, right? Yeah, I'll just not use the really, really good ones. Why did that, uh, okay, whatever. We'll start making more, and then we'll have more good ones, and that'll be fine. We, we have... Okay. So let's say this is... Gatehouse... Siege Choke. So this is going to get linked to a whole bunch of these. This is going to get linked to this one. Of course, we're going to use all of our... No, that's fine. We'll make more. This one. This one. This one. This one. Well, just, they'll all go up at the same time. And they'll all come down at the same time. Um, and then this one is different. This one retracts instead of raises because this reveals our way down into our actual trade depot area. Forgotten Beast is fighting a giant mole. I want to see a giant mole. Or a, <laughs> a giant mole corpse, rather. Yeah. I haven't seen moles before. Apparently we've got moles. Um, okay, so then individually we'll link this one to something, and then these as a pair to something. Oh, Mule is starving because... Because we had a migrant wave. And I didn't assign things. Mule. And a bunny. All these agitated birds. Ugh. Is that a cavey? I 
I assume the kiwis need to go into the pasture. Yeah, there's one. Like there's bolts down here. <laughs> there's, okay, they're taking out the trash. Look at this. Okay, that's good. That's the thing that needs to be done. I do want a better trash disposal method, but better than nothing. Um, so those those are gonna get linked, and then this gets linked to trade depot top top side gate. That gets linked here. Of course, it's gonna use a masterwork mechanism. Actually, I do want to keep the masterworks. Those are going to be a little more... a little more rare. Um, so we would do that by... finding them in here. I can forbid them. There's only a couple of masterworks. the really nice ones alone for now. There will be a use for them. Okay, that's probably all we have for now. That's not too bad. We got four or five. Yeah, okay. So then we can try those again. Uh, top side gate, link. Yeah, now it's just just the very good ones. And then here... Uh... Eight house... Trap... The uh, trap gates. <laughs> Whatever. And then we link to here. And link to here. We'll let them work on all that. Merchants are leaving soon. We are now a barony, uh, which means we now have a baron who wants a bunch of stuff, and we haven't dug out space for that at all. Oh, and we don't have a sheriff. Why don't we have a sheriff? We had a sheriff. Who wants to be the sheriff? Raise your hand if you're honest. Please, please don't lie to me. Other worker. Expedition leader. How do we still have... I think that's all from the sheriff bit. I thought once you became a barony, you got rid of the expedition leader as a role. Some of these go away as you go. You don't they don't they're not all permanently there. Well, okay. Um we'll make our our expedition leader will now be our sheriff. And then we'll have to make a, a spot for for Zan. Um, but here, this is our this is our sheriff area. What is our our cook is here now? Not how that works. You get out of there. Expedition leader. Okay. Well, that makes you happy. So now you just need a decent place. Maybe that will be this. I can make these a little bit nicer. I mean, we could also... Where else would we make a baron happy? I think we are. I think we're. We'll use this. So let's do. Oh, another, another Fey mood. Um, let's smooth all of that out. 
And then we'll do some furniture. I guess we can unpause. Um, these all have their own individual doors. Oh well, whatever. Oh, we turned off the bed job because we didn't have wood for so long. But we have, these are all set, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just make, there's no one in our hospital? Holy cow. I'll try not to sh sound too shocked there. Um, let's make, let's make like five beds. We'll just have a couple on hand. We'll just do that once. Yeah, communal smoothing. Everyone do the thing. Or, uh, furniture, bed. No. I'll wait until they've smoothed out the spots. I could put little... I could make little walkways between, but... I mean, whatever. Okay, here. Bed. Oh. Fine. Let's plan <laughs> for a bed. And then we want a table with a chair. And the other one's just a chair, I guess. I'll give them a second to finish all that. And then I assume you also want stuff. You also want a tomb. Hmm. Um, and then your furniture. You want chests and weapon racks and armor stands and stuff. Uh, so we'll do a chest. We'll do a cabinet. We'll do armor stand. And a weapon rack. And here we do chair. And then, so this is a dining hall. That's, that's fine. And this gets assigned to Zan. And this is a bedroom. And that's for Zan. And this is an office. Which is also for Zan. So now we mostly just need a tomb and higher quality stuff. I haven't told anyone in this fortress to engrave things yet. How are we... We have two adequate engravers. One of them is our chief medical dwarf. And the other one's an armorer. So that's cool. Um, let's see... Well, currently everybody... Everybody engraves. I don't think that's what I want. Everyone's smoothing is fine, but engraving you want to kind of be picky about, typically. Let's do you. I guess both of them can go for it. Why not? Uh, but then we'll also try to train up... Militia Captain, no. You're, yeah, you're also... Let's just do that. Um, and I might tell them to... Well, they're finally smoothing this stuff. Okay, the smoothing is happening. All our food, all our wool. That's what we should do. Some migrants. Holy cow. 
Just two people and a duck? That's a migrant wave. Uh, we have a surgeon. Talented wound dresser. And a weaver. Accomplished weaver. Perfect. Those are both good things. And they're just going to make it inside without any drama. Wow. Baroness has mandated the construction of certain goods. I should have looked at what she likes before I... Uh... Vests? We can make vests. If that's all you're going to demand. Let's do... I mean, in theory, we have a whole bunch of yarn. We ran through all our plant cloth and we're not making more. Because I want to survive off of yarn stuff. So... I'm looking for... Wool. I don't know what it's going to be under. Cloth. We have a bunch of cave spider stuff, which we'll use. We even have we even have some pigtail cloth. Okay, I don't know where that came from. Rope reed and hemp. We must have <laughs> must have stolen more stuff. Um, but we do have some wool cloth. So I'm just gonna say, make wool or yarn vest. Adamantine vest. That'd be good. And let's just do two yarn vests. And that will make our Baron happy. I do want to look at her. Who was it? Zan? Zan. Baroness of Face Earths. She's smoothing a room. Let's see. Personality. Very good sense of the position of her own body and a great feel for the surrounding space. But she has meager creativity and iffy sense for music, very bad intuition, and little patience. Good. An impatient Baroness. We've also made a Platinum Helm. Oh goodness. See, that's why you just keep some Platinum Bars around. Club Blameless. Newest, newest EDM hotspot, Club Blameless. 21,000 for a platinum helm. Encrusted with oval jet cabochons and circled with bands of oval kalanite cabochons, oval bitumous coal cabochons, menaces with spikes of platinum jet, giant stone bone and cave splitter silk. On the item is an image of three apricot trees. Why apricot trees? I don't know. Ask that guy. It's a very nice helm, though. <laughs> Masterwork leather bag. Cool. Make soap from tallow completed. Very nice. Under spinning thread. That it's probably happening over here, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause the cause the yarn is getting stored there. That makes sense. Not the yarn, the actual wool. There's still a lot of things to clean up, people. Look, so I I told them to dig out a third layer of of storage for. For our storage stuff, and they have done so. Maybe wood should go down there. And wood is kind of lighter, so it's okay to kind of have to take a little bit further. But we can go like this. And that is a wood stockpile. Now that everyone has just finished moving all that inside, I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and just straight up. Delete the stockpile. It can all go downstairs. And we'll have plenty of room here for all our other stuff. Um, and dining hall is happening. Waiting for more levers to be made, but that's fine. 
uh, need copper bars for bolts, but I assume that's going to happen. Here we got a bunch of cassiterite and tetrahedrite, flux and fuel and kalanite. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just our, our junk stone. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Look at this, 11 that smiley face and 17 that smiley face, whatever whatever those are. I think these numbers are going up. I think we're, I think we're doing it. I do want this to be dug. And we finished, we finished some of these. Room for doors now. Uh, door. Door. Yeah, that works. Um, in there, in there. And what do you do? Just grabbing a piece of rock. Okay. Um, but let's turn this into a meeting area. I'll end up just removing some of the extra here. Like that. I think that'll work. And you'll notice that this is all kind of compacted in here. This is like these one wide hallways, um, which you can see they can go through. I'm, a, I'm banking on this being not a very high traffic area. So we won't need the full two wide hallway situation. Um, but you'll notice I also didn't leave two spaces in between all of these little shrines in order to maximize their their worth for engraved hall engraved walls and whatnot. Which is you know not ideal but calculated, I guess. Like there's there's plenty of room up here, so these will all be fine. Um, but if we need to shove some statues in there to uh, increase their their worth, then we can. Um, or no, I need to... Okay, so then this is a meeting hall. We need to make a new location. So we have a tavern and we have a hospital. We do not have a temple. And this temple will be to no specific deity so that everyone can get some worship in. The portal of leaders. Very good. Um, and then our uh, our other religion has requested that we make them a, a space. So we'll just go ahead and, and turn this one into that for them. Like this. include as much as we can, I guess, for the sake of increasing value. And there's enough here. Like, I don't imagine needing to use all of these. I think what we could do if we really need to give like a religion a whole bunch more value, we could just assign another room and they could have two two little shrine rooms to themselves. And I think it just adds the, the value of them together. Uh, so this will be another new temple, right? And this is for the Denomination of Whispering. The Church of Auras, that's cool. Um, but then we can we can inspect it. Oh, so it is now a shrine. We agreed to build a temple. So we need to increase its value a bit. But that's fine. Well, we can go ahead and just like even tell them to, to smooth. Smooth all the things. Now there's people meditating on chaos. Hooray! Welcome, human spearmen. This is <laughs> meditate on darkness. Yay! Meditate on war. <laughs> Why did I do this for you? Is this what I want? <laughs> I 
Everyone's been running around with unhappy thoughts because they couldn't go down into a hole and meditate on darkness. Okay. Uh, there's an agitator graven up there somewhere. That's fine. We made our beds. Masterpiece Sasquatch Bone Scepter. Eight and fortresses. See, that's, that's better. Now you're sleeping. Okay. Uh, okay, so what's this worth now? Now it's 175. Hooray! Let's go ahead and do some engraving. Like this. Um, we'll just we'll do that. I'll give them some some practice. I do kind of want to do want to smooth all of this really. Hold off on some of this. That works. Okay. I would love for the library to be dug out. I'm sure our miners are busy doing something. Picking up equipment and constructing building. Is that... Do we only have the two? We have four. You are also a metalsmith. You are also a mechanic. We have three legendary miners. Let's just do that. Yeah, that's fine. Dig. There's plenty to dig. The waterfalls are still going. I'm gonna need to <laughs> dig more uh, tombs. Well, we got we got some space. Okay. Not a ton, but some. are we working on? We ever... we traded with our dwarves, right? Because they're <laughs> they're long gone. Uh, is the trade depot empty? Have you dealt with all this stuff? No, not really. Oh, now that we have a huge stack of instruments and we're making places for people to do things, let's go ahead and Militia Captain Dehydrated. I don't like that. Oh, we need to refill our squad. Ugh. Are you- and you're all naked? We need to... Constantly with the militia needing attention. Uh... Who was that? Militia Commander? Must be, must be you, Blue Book. Dehydrated. Are you stuck in a tree? You're stuck in a tree. That's the problem with trees. Or specifically, that's the problem with trees in areas where things are gonna come in and scare people and. They run up into the tree, and then they can't get back down again. Uh, but let's just... we'll, we'll do the same thing. <laughs> Tell them to make a little wooden... ...stair. Uh, do 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 And wood is good for temporary stuff like this because it's light. But it won't take them very long to haul it up there, in theory. All right. There's like no one else up here. And all the bayberries are on the ground. It's time to it's time to harvest. Where do you 
picking up equipment. Um, that has not been linked. Still, still working on links. Uh, yeah, still working on it. Okay. Oh, but I was going to put chests in the little temple areas so that they can put, uh, whatchamacallit, instruments in here. There's probably, like, instruments we need to build in here, too. Let's do... Yeah. Sanrib, Gemis, all of these. We have, what's, the, like, the best one? Ooh, that one's pretty good. Well, it's, hmm, it's okay. I mean, it's decorated. Uh, we'll do like that. And then we'll do... What was it? That was a... I don't remember which one that was now. <laughs> uh, let's do chest. And chest. Yeah, look, they're engraving. Cool. The Machine of Roars. Rendition of the Machine of Roars, an exceptionally designed image of two cougarmen. The image is a the symbol of the faithful ore. Oh. Cool. Our, apparently the symbol of our government is two... Two cougar people? Worshipping. Oh, mandate. Meditating on chaos, still. Uh, mandate says more vests. Everyone is going to be wearing yarn vests. Because the Baroness has said so. I'm curious about the value of this now, as this happens. We're up to 300. Hmm. Uh, we can put in... An instrument in here as well. By doing where's my where's my brain? Yeah. Probably one of those. Then do a chest. We're probably not there. Um, do because the dance floor four by two, yeah. So this this rectangle is our dance floor. Uh, so I think we want to keep our furniture out of those squares, like this. Yeah. Sanrib, and there's a that's a a Bachbon. Okay. Uh, furniture instrument. So is Sanrib. You can do that. And it's slowly getting there. Maybe we'll do just the one chest. Because we can also do... There's these offering places, which don't have an actual function yet. But if I could make some nice ones and decorate them... Hmm. What's, what's going on? Damp stone. Oh, because, yeah, of course. By doing this, like this. And we're saving again. Cool. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, we're... We're getting there. It's going to be winter now. 
cool. I'm wondering if I made these shrines too small. We'll see. I mean, these are going to be, you know, well-designed, fine, well-crafted, an image of the sun. So that's not going to be adding a whole lot of value. Yeah, some of these don't have any quality at all. Okay, so then what did we end up at? 900, got halfway there. So maybe they just get... Maybe they just get another one. Let's do... Uh, we'll smooth all that. Um, I'm also going to tell the engravers to start working on engraving this this whole thing basically and hopefully get some get some experience with, with doing that we will do these from from this side um, none of that's combat right okay good Offers mechanisms. Interrupted by Owl. Okay. I am going to go grab some water real quick. And then I think I think we need to take a look at our mili our militia again. I'll be right back. The smoothing is happening, that's for sure. Well, I mean, can't really tell them which side of a wall to stand on directly, can I? Um, we're gonna want to make some nice statues. I want to look at what we have available. I know we have some platinum. The bars, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, look at all this. Platinum bars. Stoat soap. Um, and then stones are somewhere. Stones or rocks? I can never remember where where things are. Stones. There we go. Jeez. Just looking at the ores we have. Uh, Galena is for silver. Cassiterite is for tin. A bunch of lignite. Wow. We still have some platinum. Not a ton. A bunch of tetrahedrite. Bunch of magnetite, wow. 
we kind of struck the mother load. As far as having like a tiny embark and having the resources that we have, I think we've gotten pretty lucky with what's in the ground. We also have 200,000 live honeybees. I like how we can't keep like an exact number on like the shields that we have, but my bookkeeper is doing his best to give like an actual estimate on how many bees we have. Stop wasting your time counting the bees and tell me how tell me how much food we have. That's the one I care about. Oh, and then here and here, yeah. And then we can place some doors. Hooray! Let's do like this. And this. I'm actually gonna get rid of these. Meditate on darkness, my old friend. Um, has every pin then not still waiting on some links here? It's in progress, looks like. You are defending. You have bolts. Is it just you? Okay. Well, at least that part's working. Okay. First of all, we clearly need more melee dwarves. Who wants to be our new militia leader? I wonder if any of our new people have skills. Nope. Soap maker, do you want to be in the military? Here, let's make Sazir. Where are you? It's not going to show people who are already in the squad. How about I go here and here? Yeah, make it. And not Dobar here. You. Yeah. You just take off all your clothes just to. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um. So now our leader actually has some axe experience, and then we'll just have another axe person in here. We'll pick our let's a farmer. We're not farming much. Um, and then we want two hammer dwarves. Which, of course, one of our crossbow dwarves is good at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Adequate hammer. Oh, our hammerer is an adequate hammer dwarf. Um, and our expedition leader, who is also our sheriff. Oh, Kubuk has been found dead. Did we not. Did we not. We didn't save our friend. Kubuk, no. <laughs> they were so close. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Um, and no one else is a hammer dwarf. Kind of want our hammerer to not be very good at hammering. Uh, wood burner, that's fine. Lie maker, yeah. Let's do that. And then I think we need a fifth Mark's dwarf. Which no one is good at.
Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Weaver. Herbalist, though, whatever. Interrupted by Owl. Whatever. Bone crafts. Things are growing. Spear dwarf attached to spiel, steel spear. Good. We're cranking through our copper. You're you're probably out here to grab. No. You're just out here to have fun. You came out here. Now you're picking up equipment. Okay, you are you are our new person. You came out here for no reason and got grumpy or in the snow. All you dorks. So much, so much crap. Just garbage on the ground. I hope we can get this one linked up to a lever before um, an actual wagon shows up. We also got... still got a whole bunch of stuff in here. But people are, are working on it. They're trying. Effort is being made. Uh, we moved all our wood. Yeah, all the wood's down here now. Cool. Our furniture stockpile is getting full. Nay, let's see. This is finished goods. This is... So yeah, we got... Stuff is showing up. Still <laughs> got so many... So many things left to move. And they're... Are they trying? None of these are going anywhere. One of them is. Mm. No, you're just using the bone. Yeah, literally everything should be going in here. Was it only accepting from... Hmm, maybe that's what was going on. Taking stuff from the the leather works, okay. I think that's that's good. Those are waterfalls. Looks like we're doing okay. Everything's still flowing. I wonder. So it's still closed. And we are frozen, but there's like still some water in here. So if it ran out like in the middle of winter, we'd be able to inject a little bit more in. Okay. Look at you! So you've all got some stuff on. Good. <laughs> so many uh, sutures. Jeez. I guess it's better than not having sutures. Hammer dwarf. Hmm. I got shot. Look at all the snow. Oh. Okay. I do want to make. I want to make them patrol correctly. Uh, so 
else and remove that one. I don't know, I mean that clearly didn't work. I mean, the only other thought I have, currently we have both of these levels as two different, or as one borough, as one zone. Uh, but what if we... What if that wasn't the case? Say so this is Gate House Lower. We'll add another for here for here and this will be gatehouse upper right and then we can go into our squad schedule we're set on Staggered training. I almost make, might make a whole new column? Well, I'm going to view. Okay. So we have five people in our Marksdorf squad. I'm thinking of having one person stationed to the lower gatehouse, one person stationed to the upper gatehouse. And then two people training, and then one person can be doing can be off. And they're just gonna do that forever? Like with the the, the melee squad, they're doing like on and off training. Like three months on, three months off. I mean, look, all these these numbers, these the red ones are going down and the green ones are going up. Cool. So maybe maybe we're okay. Maybe our waterfall situation means I can lean on them a little bit more. So we'll do this. Um, whip always. Sleep barracks at will. That's fine. Um, minimum number of one is going to defend. Get house lower. And then one is going to defend Gatehouse Upper. And two are going to train. And then what is this check mark? Can't uncheck that. That's weird. Um, and there's gonna be. Defend and train. And then we might have another schedule set up so that if we have like a bunch of owls going around on the surface, we can say everyone is defending and patrolling until we've dealt with the owls and then we can go back to like fewer. Maybe that's how we'll do it. So we'll say done. Because, yeah, equip always, sleep barracks at will. Yeah. So this is just going to be their eternal schedule. Good. Let's see what that does for us. I'd love to see someone just sitting in here taking hot shots at owls. Uh, okay. And you... You're running off to shear someone? Okay. That's fine, I guess. A person is allowed to do that. Um, you don't have ammo. But, you know.
And then how are we for gear? I guess that's also an important thing. Uh, equipment. Wow. There's a lot less red here than I thought there would be. You are... You're working on it. Okay. Looks like they're they're working on it presently. Um, the main thing is just the ammo. They all have quivers. Just didn't put anything inside. Because why would you do that? Hey, look! Bolts into owls! Okay. I'm, I'm liking this. It's working sometimes, at least. Yeah. Defend gatehouse upper. And you have... No bolts. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just gonna have to assume that they'll figure it out eventually. I also wish things would show up here. I don't know how this... So, this when it's lit up, it means they can accept from anywhere? The buttons aren't always clear. There's still so much stuff. Like who's... Someone's coming for this bracelet, and I'm curious if they're just going to wear it, or if they're moving it to a... A stockpile. They changed their mind. Not coming for it anymore. Um, we can get ooh, dwarf beast hunter, corrupted stalker. Ooh. And still, with this road in particular, I don't know why that one's so hard to complete. Um, and they did the construction of two crossbows. Okay. I guess. Oh, we need to make a tomb. And your stuff needs to be better. Okay. Um... I'm going to make them out of wood, even though wood is kind of, kind of precious. Um, but mostly because wood is light and I don't want to weigh them down with too much gear so that they can stay mobile. Ugh, come on. Come on. Even a really nice quiver. No one's down here either. How's our linking going? There's still still jobs to do here. That's fine. Smoothing is still happening. Dwarf Beast Hunter Corrupted Stalker. Socializing. Cool. Listening to a story. Great creativity, great feel for social relationships, great memory, good intuition, good intellect, but has short patience. I'm already dead. Hurry it up. Often greets others with a hug. <laughs> um, and then you're you're in here and you're in here. That's cool. That's fine. Do you have bolts? No. Do you have bolts? No. Um, oh, we're mining out some more, uh, whatchamacallit, marble. That's good. How's our big dig, our big dig going? Here we go. Oh, oh, ho, ho. look at all this. And the 
Uh, what do you call it? The engraving is happening too. Cool. So then, more doors. Doors for everyone. I have to decide which side gets the the thing. Hey, look, another forgotten beast. Jeez, Zakos, Zasundor. Uru. An enormous feathered serpent, curling trunk, and it has a gaunt appearance. Mauve feathers and long are long and sparse, but where its webs? You look, it's a Weber, and it's in Cave 2. So now we just have two, two snakes. <laughs> and yeah, fight! Fight! Yeah, we won't be going in there anytime soon. Zakos spurt deeps the moist. Neat. And you've killed a forgotten beast. Very cool. Carry on. A uh, lie maker is fighting. That I care about. Uh, is that who's who's fighting Tossid? Yeah. Well, you're you're not a light maker. You're a hammer dwarf. Don't stop running. You're. This is for you to deal with. Okay, you also do not have bolts. What about you? Nope. There's literally bolts on the ground. Can you pick up? The bolt on the ground and put it in your crossbow, please. For our stupid melee dwarfs being chased around by an owl. Uh, if the ammo would work, then we'd be fine. Everything else is working. Hit it! Just hit back! You dropped your shield. Oh my god. Really? Really? I guess... I mean, you didn't have any real training, but... You were, like, equipped and stuff. Bashes the agitated giant horned owl in the right wing with hammer. And it didn't care. I mean, you got some hits off. I guess hammer isn't the greatest thing against owls. I mean, you just bruised it with a hammer. Kill. And it even is healthy. And I was injured. It's not. Yeah. Is it, it just went right in? And it's gonna go into a cage? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Never mind, you're fine. I need more. Yeah. Probably need to free up more cages. Which we can do. We got some stuff to drop, I bet. This is all nice and rotted. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Um, all the honeybees. Uh, Sasquatch, wolves. Yeah, just toss them all in. Just not the flying things. You 
trees. So many wolves. We have caught a lot of wolves. <laughs> so many of them have names. <laughs> Want a bear? Leave the bear alone. Uh, okay. Look, we're down to one grumpy person. The waterfalls are having a measurable effect, I gotta say. doing here oh just a child stumbling obliviously that's great store item hauling oh yeah hauling the hauling the owls of course okay I want to start working on our, our walkway around the... You have ice in your water skin. Now it's water. The water in their water skin can freeze! Never seen that before. Oh, we have to replace... Ugh. Need another hammer dwarf. I need to, like, sort them for robustness. Mm. Animal caretakers. Master Animal Caretaker. Mm. No combat skills? Oh, that's cool. Like, what kind of poems they know? Huh. Vice Ever Onward. Vice Ever Onward is a poem authored by Shorast. Someone. An example of the monk of style. The work has no particular subject, the writing overflows with sadness, and is stunningly self-indulgent. Overall, the poetry is very, very bad. This animal caretaker knows a terrible poem. The Monk of Style is a dramatic po poetic form originating in the dip ceiling. Oh, it comes from our capital, from our last fortress. Right? You can never... Can never keep them straight. Dip ceiling is our civilization or the, our previous fortress. It's one of the two. Uh, the rules of the form are applied by poets to produce individual poems that can be recited. Poem is a single tercet. Use of consonants is characteristic of the form. Every line in the poem has an initial sisura. There's I don't know all these words. The meaning, uh, uh, the third line of the terse, it shares the underlying meaning of the second line. The first line is an accent pattern, or is intended to describe the past. It has five feet with an accent pattern of unstressed, unstressed, stressed. Wow. Jeez. Uh, anyway, looking for... Oh, we're fighting. Um, in theory, no one's getting in trouble here. I'll just toss them all in. Cool. They get all panicked because... Oh, that all got connected. Okay, that's fine. Wolves. Wolves into the pit. Hopefully we're not losing... I guess we should make sure we're not dumping people in there, because that happened last time. No? Yeah. Just... Just dead things. 
No, something survived. Mm, never mind. <laughs> I think even if they survive the fall, they get hit enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you didn't just fit through the fortifications. How the hell? The fact that you are basically dead does not mean you can pass through fortifications. I'm sorry. I'm glad you figured out how to die there. Imposed a ban. What are you going to ban? Oh, you still need stuff. Explore crossbows prohibited. That's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> One thing at a time. Let's pick a person. You all suck at this. It's fine. You're an engraver. Engineer we care about. Unless, well, Zuglar. How good are you? Competent. Yeah. Nope. Let's take a look at Zuglar. happy. Fired your... You have a pet rabbit. I assume that's good. Uh, military... Kills? Siege engineer... Combat. Here we go. Competent siege operator. Novice Mark Dwarf Rusty. You know... I, yeah, we're, it's going to be you. Zuglar. We'll put on some clothes, please. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get a bunch of notifications because all the... Zuglar. Really? How did you... See, I don't know what... I don't know what causes that. Why they're... Ending up inside. What on earth? Child. What? What the frick? The engineer is fighting, yeah. But they're- are they like climbing? Are they gonna try to climb out? Well, the child is still there, but now- now Zuglar is- The glar is fine. What is happening? <laughs> um, I wonder if they're just... They're having to dodge around people in here a little too much. So I wonder if I need to do this. We can even just... Just take the whole thing out. And we'll, we'll not have a door here. And the child got out too. And this wolf person? Did the wolf person... Is there... Someone's clothes. Did someone die? I feel like someone died. I didn't get a notification about it. Maybe the... The animal people can climb their way out too. Do I need to smooth? Do I need to smooth the chute? Well, we should have a bunch of empty cages now, at least. Yeah, what are you doing? You're, you're loading a cage trap. Perfect. So bizarre. 
my only interpretation of that was that they were like two people were trying to put a wolf person into the hole at the same time. Donkey bone shield. Neat. And they like, you know, one person tried to dodge and ends up in a hole, which is a thing that happens absolutely in combat. They will dodge into holes all the time. Pattern owl, the certain odor. Okay. Encircle with bands of donkey bone and oval tetrahedra cabochons. Okay. That is an okay shield. Still more... See, people are stationed. Just not with ammo. You have ammo. And you... Getting stuff. <laughs> we haven't even gotten our our friend's corpse back. Why is no one's done this? It's all the cancellations, I'm sure. Someone shoot the owl. You, in particular, pick up a bolt and shoot the owl. You are your range as well, but you also don't have ammo. Hmm. Well, some of you are new, so some of you have excuses. Definitely not all of you. Hmm. Resolve cages. Is this hooked up yet? Not yet. Look at all these trees we have. We like, oh, this is great. These never got removed either. Hmm. We have a bit of a, we still have a bit of a backlog of, of tasks to do. Oh, that's right. We need to make our Baroness happy. Um, so in theory, yeah, smoothing is, is happening. That was probably a big, <laughs> a big train on all that. Um, this is, this is working. Uh, let's go ahead and do meeting area. Do like this. Try not to overlap things too much. I think that works. And then this gets added to the Church of Auras. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Church of Auras. Perfect. So now... Let's get in there. It's 1100. Dwarven Child has been found dead. On the surface, by an owl that hasn't been shot. Dwarven Child kicks the owl in the leg. Rope reed robe is ripped to shreds. If only there was someone with a crossbow who could have helped with this. Okay. Tombs. Baroness needs a tomb. Um, we can extend our, our, you know, just general catacombs a bit while we're at it. Then maybe here. this that don't need to be done and 
maybe maybe that just goes here I mean whatever there's plenty of space That should be fine. That'll be our Baroness's tomb. Okay. Well, we're down to 46 people, but look how happy they are. Like, look. Le like, we only have... Uh, what is that? 11 people? Fine or lower? Everyone else is... Everyone else is doing really good. This is, we're already, like, our mood situation is already better than it was in the last fortress. And that's not for lack of effort in the last fortress. Smooth, please. Also, door. And... We have a, a, um... There was an artifact uh, coffin at some point. Probably just placed it somewhere. What's the best one? None of these. Uh, here. Um, and this becomes a tomb. Except... And then it is for Van. Cool. And the tomb is fine. It doesn't need to be a very nice tomb. This all got done, and then still, still not quite there. Let's install uh, another instrument. Kind of the same thing. Any of these? They're just not very good, are they? There. Chest. Ooh, a masterpiece chest. That'll help. Yeah, there's some there's some instruments in the chest now. Um, we were talking about statues. How about let's do I'm not gonna make a recurring order, but I am gonna do some platinum statues. Let's say 10 platinum statues. Um, oh, how's our justice doing? There are no open cases. Why don't I believe you? We do have a sheriff. Own champion. We never picked a champion, but no one's gonna be. No one's any good at championing. Whatever. Um. Oh, and the guild halls are. Yeah, all the library is good. Means we need to make some bookcases. And get all the library stuff going. There's a bunch of stuff to do there, isn't there? Um, I want to make these all the same material. Let's do stones. Mudstone is boring. Claystone is boring. We could do granite. Cobalite. Cobalite's kind of pretty. Jet, of course, but I think I'm reserving the jet. Mica. Yeah, let's do... 
Let's just do granite, that's fine. Use granite. And I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times four is thirty-six. Right? Eighteen times two? No. Yeah. Make me thirty-six granite bookcases. And then we also want to furnish all of this. Uh, let's start with chairs. No, furniture, chair. I was going to do... It was like a space, space, table, chair. Uh, we could try to make these all the same, too. Let's do that. Let's make things nice. Uh, back throne. Table. Must turn all speed granite. We need to. We can find more granite if we need to. I guarantee you that. Uh, but I was gonna do one. One, two, three, four, five. So ten. Yeah, ten of each. Okay, perfect. That works. And then we want some chests in here. Oops, sorry. I'll just put in some some rock salt coffers. Why not? Cool. And then down here we want to put a workshop. I think it's just craft dwarf workshop. Yeah, craft. And I think one is going to be fine. And this will just be stockpile. And these are guild halls. Which at least one of them has been requested already. It would be cool if I remembered which one. Um, meeting hall. Like that. Yeah. Uh, and this is going to be a new guild hall. It'll be the one that has an established guild. That's easy. Uh, it was like farmer or something, I think. We'll find it. There we go. Farmer Hall. Yeah, yeah. There we go. The pristine clearings. And we'll see if that satisfies them. Well, it says they want they want a guild hall. It also needs to be worth two thousand. Of course it does. So we'll, we'll smooth it, because we smooth everything. And I'll probably get some statues, too. Look, praying to Asmol. And in here, stuff's happening. Praying to Asmol. You can... This person is praying to Asmol here, and this person is praying to Asmol here. Meditating on trickery. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in theory, we're just going to get some platinum statues at some point. I don't know, do I, do I decorate them? I don't know how qui high quality they're going to be. Hey, we're saving. Jeez. We're... 
cruising right along, aren't we? Hold my breath every single time. Ooh. Oh yeah. Statue. Let's just do... Yeah, we got five platinum statues. And they're... Okay. Statue of Stukos. And a statue of... Sperm Whales. Or a rat. Or Asmol. Here. Yeah, the... That works. Um, and then... I don't know if the value is added to their... until the statue is actually placed. Masterpiece mechanism. And we have a whole clothing industry to deal with. Beef! Are we finally attracting the attention of the goblins? I guess the thief is kobolds, but they're similar. Here. Schlonger. <laughs> Schlonger has come! Uh, Copper Dagger and... Tunic. We're just sitting there? Yeah. You're gonna try to steal something, aren't you? There's too much garbage on the ground. Okay. Squad. Kill the thief. Kill Schlonger. Or you can just walk into a cage. Or climb up all the walls. Oh dear. Look at that. Just, yeah, bonk. There we go. Cool. Wood burner. Oh, you're just running. You're just running. Whatever. We should make some weapon, some trap weapon weapons, some weapon trap weapons, <laughs> so we can put some actual weapon traps in here. Uh, we're still waiting on things to be linked. Thank you don't have ammo. You don't have ammo. I look an owl. It's just a couple things that are being just a little weird. I wish our... Why is this... This should be taking all of our trade goods. be taking from the other stockpile. They're not even ending up in in this stockpile. Well, I guess a bunch of it is. There's still a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, look at all this. People, please. Okay, well, let's do... I'm going to tell them to engrave this stuff. It's not going to be extremely high quality, but it'll... I think it'll be enough for the Baroness. Our waterfalls are still going. So that's a good sign. Um, spinning thread is happening. 
theory, thread is just being spun whenever thread can be spun. Let's see. Maybe we'll 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 check out our our textile stuff real quick, and then maybe that'll be the end. Uh, but we're shearing, right? Shearing animals as they as they are available. We're spinning thread. We can use any shop, which is fine. Um, and that's just that's just going. So does that mean we just have a whole bunch of thread? We have a whole bunch of thread. Yeah, okay. So we have... Yeah, 136 llama wool yarn. And a bunch of forgotten beast silk thread down there. We should capture the forgotten beast. Hmm... Of course, there's giant cave spiders, too. I want to capture one of them. But anyway, uh, between llama wool yarn and alpaca wool yarn, we have the ability to make yarn. Weave yarn into cloth. I don't think we are doing that automatically. Cheese, ash, lye, soap, honey, mead. In theory, we have ballista ammo rolling around here somewhere, too. But I don't see us using our wool thread. So I think we want to... Make cloth. No. Weave yarn into cloth. That's what we want. This will happen. How do we do this? Let's go. Let's go here. And we want to maintain cloth. We'll say yarn cloth. Less than ten, but we want to keep like a hundred yarn cloth. Okay. As long as we have unused yarn thread. But I wanna have we wanna keep some thread on hand, so we'll say like 20 thread. So we won't use below 20 thread, but anything above 20 thread we will turn into yarn cloth until we have 100 yarn cloth. Okay. And then if we go back into DF hack stuff, we can open up auto clothing again um, so this should tell us our status I, I last stream I put in a bunch of cloth stuff and we got pretty good everyone needs everyone needs shoes um, because of course but we will we'll make a bunch of leather shoes. But I want to get rid of those those cloth orders. Um, how do I clear them? Automatically manage clothing orders commands you to set how many. Yeah. So I think I need to go in and say like I have cloth robe. I think I need a cloth robe zero. Unset cloth rope, okay. So then cloth cap zero. Cloth sock zero. At 
I'm assuming this is what I should be doing. Uh, trousers. Because we'll leave the we'll leave the leather shoe and glove. And if I check it again, I should say leather shoe two. I want material could be cloth, silk, yarn, leather. So I think cloth is specifically plant cloth, and I want to say yarn. So let's say yarn, vest, ooh. And that will probably just randomly complete our, uh, our Baroness's demands <laughs> without us having to do anything, probably. But then we want to do like yarn sock two, yarn cap two, yarn trousers, and gloves. So now, where does that leave us? Two leather shoes, two yarn vests, two yarn socks, two yarn caps, two yarn trousers, two yarn gloves. I think... I think we're good, and I'm going to turn it back on. And let it, let it have at it. We'll see where that puts us. Or owned item too injured. How'd you get injured down here? Or oh, statues got placed. So let's check on this. There we go. Yeah, recognize. Okay, yeah. So it is a temple. So does that mean we've satisfied? I probably missed the part where we satisfied them. Um, but I think they're happy now. Man. So we were at like 1500 without the statues, and <laughs> now with the two statues. What are you... so this a thousand and twelve hundred? Yeah. The statues can do it on their own. Okay. We need to find some more platinum. I think I've seen some gold and stuff too. I just need to like actually mine it on purpose. Um, and let's go ahead and engrave this guild hall. Yeah, agreed to make guild hall. And this is that might even just be enough on its own. It being bigger helps a lot. I think these are these are probably too small to be reliably turned into to temples. What we should do, what I would do if I were smart, which I'm not going to do for this fortress because now I've already designated all these these shrines. But what what a smart person would do is determine how much an average engraving is worth it's so like average rock is worth one so that'll and that factors into the calculation uh, but like most rock is worth one except for like marble um, and if you said like an, an averagely skilled engraver so like an adequate or competent skilled engraver makes x value engraving on one value stone how many of those engravings would you need to make a temple? And then you can design something that uses that many squares and walls, since the walls also count. But then you would know, like on average, you could make each shrine reach that first level, that, that temple level. Right? Is that what these are? These are temples. At least the, the two of these combined is a temple. I guess. Oh, what if I? Oh, now I can't. I can't remove the wall now because now there's engravings here and it's gonna upset people. But well, they're probably not very good. Now that's just an image. That's just an image. It's a well-designed image. That's just an image. An image. 
an image of clouds. Okay. So yeah, let's let's do this. Let's just remove. And that'll be a temple. That's how you do that. Then we'll we'll re-smooth and re-engrave, but uh, but that's fine. Um and then I want to I mean I want to want to smooth everything. Begin the unsmoothening. Let's just let's just do the whole let's just do the whole thing. Why not? All the spots you can get to. Um our Baroness is still not perfectly satisfied. Migrants, jeez. Oh but we're still engraving, okay, so that's fine. You're storing stuff. Is there stuff here? No. Oh, there is! There's a bin here. It's just underneath. It's just underneath. Okay. Cool. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Cool. Migrants. Plural? Or just literally a migrant? And some pets. No, there's a second. I'm glad that they're keeping us topped off. Uh, okay, so Bear came with a keat. You are a miller. Uh, we have a glass maker. Oh. Uh, bad news. <laughs> we aren't making glass here. Where's our, our persons? How about you? How are you doing? Ooh, you have three whole copper bolts. Three individual copper bolts. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to take care of this? And you're going for the lower one, too. Cool. And how about you? Do you have... Nope. Of course not. But you're not... You're not in combat. It'd be cool if you used one of those three bolts for... Okay, bye. <laughs> hmm. That's fine. Spin thread, make lie, press honey. Llama has given birth to a llama. Attached to a bronze warhammer. Masterpiece crafts. Wow. Look at all this. We're still waiting on for things to be done. Still a lot of garbage on the ground. Does everyone have a job? You're literally one person who's not doing something, so. Monster Slayer, Monster Slayer. <laughs> There's owls on the surface, if, if that's what you care about. I was close to a waterfall. I'm so relieved. Good. Our, our grumpy people are going up a tiny bit. Maybe some of those are the new people. here so that's smooth then I can these are two separate two separate things um, which is fine except that they're not gonna be able to use the whole dance floor so yeah this has a three a four by three dance floor and that is a four by three is that how yeah, but they could get like a 4 by 5 if I merge them. So let's remove this zone and repaint this one to be bigger. Like that. Except and it's still, yeah, still big. And now it has a 4 by 5 dance floor. Perfect. We'll re engrave the slurp. Uh, okay. And 
yeah, I think we're we're about done. Copper bolts are, are getting, or copper in general is getting hung up, but I assume they're working on it. Look at all, look at all this. There's just, all this stuff is still... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Evil. That's all this. We got a lie. Still, it's, I mean, it's mid-spring, and we've gotten... We got our waterfall still going. They haven't opened up yet. I am curious to see if they will actually automatically open when they need to. Well, bedroom's fine. Okay. Dwarven child stumbling around obliviously, of course. Did we ever... I'm assuming we dealt with all this. Or as dealt with as it's going to get. It's just... A bunch of skeletons. Named skeletons. I'm assuming those are named enemies and not... Dead dwarves. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon. Giant black bear is fighting. Oh, no. Uh, I wish you had some bolts, don't I? Look at this. This is the exact scenario that Zephon here is, to, is trying to prevent. Who was this? I don't even know who this was that died. And now it's just gonna be like... Chilling? Dream inched? I could really use a drink. Proud after the establishment of a guild hall for the Foggy Company. Well, that's good. Oh no, now there's going to be more... Ugh. What do you have? Well, you're... You're a hammer dwarf, but you don't even have a shield. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Alert. And then a kill order. Of course, you're gonna come in solo. Please. Please be good at this. No. No. Oh, and you were. That was Zuglar. You weren't someone who was given a kill order. Or were you? You were. Okay. So that's good. But. You had a shield even. I wonder if the hammers are even what we need right now, or if we should just be doing axes and... Hmm. Here they come. Oh! It just... it climbed. That's good. Are you... You are here to kill. See, so yeah, I bet this, this axe is gonna do way better. Yeah. Hmm. Do we do... Do we have like a wildlife disposal squad and a armored foe fighty squad? That makes sense. Here we can clear the alert. Oh, we lost two more people. I blame you for this other Zephon. Or was it it was Zuglar, yeah. Look, an owl just... No. Stop. It's our Baroness! Uh... 
F. <laughs> Do you? No. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> okay. Well, maybe some more research on why they're not grabbing their bolts, because that would have been very helpful right there. May have prevented two deaths if we could put ammo in the quivers, people. Well, the station orders are working. Um, the these are all these are all getting done slowly. Ugh. Uh, yeah, the ma mandate has ended, I bet. Well then. Don't think we're getting another Baroness. Oh, look at all these whip finds. Oh boy. Oh, one of these got removed, finally. Jeez. Okay. Okay, well, look, the crafts are getting moved. So that's... That's good. Some things are happening. Look at all these bolts that no one's holding. Uh, all these, all the, le the leather low boots are all here. Uh, I guess that, I guess that makes sense. Um, are the clothier shops getting jobs yet? I mean, these are all rope read. Keeping out for yarn stuff to get started. I wonder if there's any jobs in here yet. Yeah. We're just waiting for them to... Why are they making that? It's too many. Whatever. They'll work on it. Slowly. Our furniture stockpile. We should probably move some stuff around in here. Well, that's fine. Well, our bedrooms got smooth. Look at all that. See how pretty that is? Now that's all smooth. Then we can start working on our library. Okay. We're gonna call it here. We have made some great progress. We dug out all that space for libraries and guild halls and temples. And now we just need to make them nice. Oh, we got a Baroness and then she died. Hooray. Uh, and I have a, a chat cam here. Yeah, cool. It even retains all the chat from the whole thing. Not that that's really necessary, but whatever. Um, yeah, cool. Look at all this stuff. I feel like even out, even off stream, like there's a whole Discord now. Go check out the Discord. Um, I'll I'll be there. I'm gonna be I'll be shit posting in there all the, all the time. Check out I, like. I need a place to stash all the memes <laughs> that I find. Uh, so, uh, hang out in there. Um, come by on Thursday, and we're going to do something completely different. I, guess I might as well say what it is, um, since this is the, the last stream until then. Uh, but there's a game coming out on Thursday that I'm kind of excited about, and that I think would be a good fit for the stream. Because it's not like... Breath of the Wild, where everyone's going to be playing it. Um, but I think still going to have a little bit of... Some people might know about it. Um, anyway, it's it's by the Game it's by the Game Grumps Studios, by uh, Jory and, and that, that crew. Uh, it's called Homebody. And I know very little about it, except for the fact that it is a puzzle horror game with time loopy elements. That's kind of all I know about it. And that's all I need to know about it to be sold on it. Um, cause I'm, I'm all about like, it's, it's going to be weird. I bet it's going to be, it's going to have some weirdness to it. And that's what I'm all about. Um, and it's by a, a smaller group of people, but by people who are kind of known for doing good stuff. Um, like these are the same people that put out um, like Dream Daddy, the the dating the dating one, um, and that was good. 
So I'm, I'm looking forward to just some good stuff. Um, so come by. We're going to be checking out a new game. That doesn't happen very often here. Um, and we'll we'll evaluate at the end kind of what we'll do going forward. I think we're going to... Saturdays are going to continue being for Sekiro until that's complete because we are quite close to the end. Um, but maybe, maybe we continue with Homebody and during the week until it's done. Or maybe we do like Monday's Door Fortress, Thursday other things. Kind of a situation. I don't know. We'll... We'll see what people want. Um, but yeah, come by on Thursday. I'm excited. That'll be fun. We'll see what's going on with that. Uh, and then Saturday for more Sekiro. How much more Sekiro? No clue. <laughs> We're getting close. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but there's more. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Oh. You broke apart. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Press, click the buttons. You know where they are. Come by. Come by next time. We'll hang out. Stay kind.